Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh, man. It's a lot of things circulating around the boxing community right now. And one of the main things that's going on right now is that on the low, low, Javante Tank Davis is not happy, y'all. He want bigger fights. He want the bigger names. He been calling for the bigger names for a long time. And his promoter, that being Floyd Money Mayweather, Seems like him and Javante Tank Davis ain't really seeing eye to eye on the decisions that Mayweather Promotions have been making for the WBO champion, the lightweight champion, Javante Tank Davis. So, you know, he's he's upset. You know, he's like, look, you know, I want the big fights. I want the Devin Haney. I want the Teofimo Lopez. I want the JoJo Diaz. I want the Shakur Stevens. You know, he want those big fights like that. But it seems like, you know, his promotion crew is choosing, you know, lesser opponents. And now to replace Roly Romero, which, you know, that was an in-house fighter that, you know, that was a pretty good draw. It would have been a pretty good fight. But now that's been canceled. Because of Roller Ramirez with his sexual allegations that he had, he had to pull out. You know, he done been arrested, investigated, and all this stuff like that. So, you know, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. You know? So, with that being, you know, uh, a situation, he had to choose Isaac Cruz, which Isaac Cruz was somebody he had already kind of decided on, but didn't like as far as. Javante Tank Davis, he didn't like it, you know. He want high profile fights on his resume. And who would? But then you have your promoter, a lot of times, want to protect you from your own self, want to protect your record, want to protect their investment, want to protect their name, yada, yada, yada. So the thing is now is Javante Tank Davis going to resign with Mayweather Promotions when this, this time ends. Because if you notice, a lot of the fighters that Javante Tank Davis want to fight is over in PBC. You know, it's over at Top Rank. So being with a Mayweather Promotions, you know, they don't have the best, you know, arrangement with a Bob Aaron. So can they get the big fights for Javante Tank Davis? Or do they have to search within their own camp and find and make up guys? You know, so that's that's one of the things I think that has been frustrating Javante Tank Davis. You know, a few you know back what 2020 he made a comment. You know, like basically you know Mayweather was training Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis. You know they were in talks of maybe fighting once, and and he was like you know pick a side and. You know, I guess you don't chose your side. You know, here we are again with Roller Romero. And with Roller Romero, Javante Tank Davis did it again. He was like, well, I guess he don't chose his side. So how many times is a fighter going to feel that way? Like their main guy, their promoter, the person that is investing in them really don't believe in them and is believing in all these other flunkies and guys and siding with them and all those things like that. That's something I know has to bother Javante Tank Davis on the low low. So we're going to see how this thing materializes. Is he going to stay with Mayweather promotion when his contract ends? Um, some say his contract ends next year. So, you know, it's to be said. We, we're going to keep our ears out for it. You know, I'm definitely going to let y'all know once I hear anything else about this um, developing story. Hey, I wish the best for all them guys. You know, it's good for the sport, good for boxing. I want to see boxing back to the pinnacle of it, as it was back in the day with, you know, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Pernell Whitaker, and Vinny Panzienza, Della Hoya. You remember that era? 
Man, that was like one of the best eras in the 90s. Mike Tyson was giving the popcorn fights with Don King, knocking cats out in 30 seconds. You know, by the time you sit down and get your room full of people to fight over with, everybody going back to the car, leaving. You know, we need to get boxing back to that era. And with that being said, that's this video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, cop some merch, get you a shirt or a hoodie or something. All right, y'all. Peace.